everybody. This is Tracy Freeman coming to you today with another episode of This Is Our Soma Life. Today, we will be speaking with Monica Mangan, owner of Buff Fitness in South Orange, New Jersey. Tell me a little bit more about Buff Fitness. I started this business 10 years ago, a leap of faith. I was at a point in my career where I felt like I needed a new challenge and I felt a little bit stuck working in another facility. So I took over the space from a woman who was training clients here and was moving. I inherited her clients, brought my own clients, and then subsequently through the years have gained other clients as well. What is your fitness philosophy? I like to think of myself as being more of a lifestyle coach than just a fitness trainer. So much of living our healthiest lives is a compilation of not just fitness and exercise, but also eating healthy, sleeping, relationships with our family members and our friends. And one of the nice things about being in a space like this is working one-on-one -on -one with clients and they having a safe place to talk about challenges that they're having and feeling like they're not going to be seen or heard or judged which you can't get in a situation where you've got other people in the same environment. Who is your ideal client? I don't really have an ideal client. I, you know, I'd like to think that everybody's ideal. I have some teenagers. I train a lot of working people who come early in the morning before they catch the commuter train into the city. I have middle-aged women. I have doctors and lawyers and senior citizens. I have working moms. I have stay-at-home moms. I have several clients from the Jesby House, which is an organization for mentally and physically disabled adults, and it's really incredibly rewarding to train them. The beauty of this space here is that it enables any type of person who wants a real intimate exercise experience or health experience to come and feel safe, not judged, and open to really talking about their fitness and health challenges. What made you want to be a fitness professional? I have always been an athlete. When I was in college, I taught figure skating lessons. I moved to New York City and taught figure skating in New York and really liked the coaching component. So when I moved to Maplewood, my kids were little and I joined a gym and I started taking classes and I got really fit and I thought this would be something that I could do that would enable me to be a stay-at-home mom and bring my kids along with me when I was teaching and that kind of thing and it's worked out really great because as a single mom this lifestyle has given me the flexibility to really be there for my kids and also have a very rewarding career and stay in shape. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Who are the people in your neighborhood? They're the people that you 